Look, everyone, I already talked about the breaking news of Tyree Kill going to the Miami Dolphins, but we got to talk about what the Chiefs lose here, what Miami is gaining. The Chiefs are losing here with Tyree Kill. Not only are you losing a great playmaker, but you're losing a guy who meant so much to your offense. He was half of the Chiefs' production, whether it be as a productive wide receiver or as a decoy making ways for everyone on the offense, including Patrick Mahomes, including McCole Hartman, including Travis Kelsey, and what impact he could have made on Juju if he had stayed. There's a lot of things the Chiefs are going to be missing here with Tyree Kill. Do I think it'll affect them a bunch? I actually do. They're still going to be a good team, but there's a lot they're going to lose, and I think it's going to affect them a lot. Everyone, the Chiefs are going to miss Tyree Kill a lot. They can't use him in RPOs anymore to freeze up safeties and linebackers, and they use RPO a lot. They're one of the most successful offenses in the last four years using the RPO, especially with Patrick Mahomes and Tyree Kill. They also can't use him to run deep anymore to clear out route space underneath for Travis Kelsey and other receivers like McCole Hartman and even Juju, who they just added, everyone. And they can't use his speed in pre- and post-snap motion to help out the run game to attack the edge and force defenders to over pursue everyone and people i kind of want to get into the rpo game first here because the chiefs rpo package is a really big part of their offense and tyree kill was a really big part of their rpo game because of the playmaker that he is and how impactful that he was in rpo look the chiefs have had the highest rpo percentage in the league since 2018 and it's such a large part of their offense and look tyree kill was a large part of the rpo game because he's such a great playmaker and a great decoy. Now that he's gone, they can't really use him in the RPO game to freeze up safeties and linebackers and not have them focus on the run game, but focus on the speed and the playmaking ability of Tyree Kill. Even if you wanted to pass to Tyree Kill in the RPO game, you don't have that anymore. You don't have that option to pass to him in RPO game or use him as a decoy to set up your run game in the RPO. So that's something the Chiefs really lose here in their RPO game, which is such a big part of their offense, people. And that's not great at all. And look, everyone, I'm not going to overanalyze this. The RPO wasn't the only thing they did well, and we know that. They're the Chiefs. They're a great offense, one of the greatest offenses of all time, in my opinion. And look, they have a great coaching staff on the offensive side of the ball with Andy Reid and Eric Bieniemy, and they still got Pat Mahomes. They still got Tyree Kill. But look, the thing that I really think they're going to miss the most here out of Tyree Kill it's not some overanalyzed thing. It's simply his playmaking ability and his speed that opens up so much of the offense. His speed and his playmaking ability simply opened up a large part of the Chiefs offense because it just forced defenses to play you a different way. His speed as a decoy and simply as a playmaker is what the Chiefs are going to miss the most. Because of his speed and his playmaking ability going downfield as a deep threat and him simply being a decoy right there, so many underneath routes for Travis Kelsey and other wide receivers on the Chiefs offense opened up because of Tyreek Hill, and now they don't have that privilege because they don't have Tyreek. They don't have that one-of-a-kind speed that he has. No one in the league has his speed or the playmaking ability with his speed that Tyreek Hill has, and the Chiefs are not just not going to find that again, everyone. Yeah, you have Hardman. But he's not going to consistently burn corners or make plays, especially as a number one receiver. He doesn't catch defense's eyes enough as a deep threat as much as Tyree Kill did. You're not going to have that privilege anymore of having Tyree Kill as a deep threat on your offense and having these underneath routes near the line of scrimmage open up for Travis Kelsey for him to get yards after contact or possibly open up for Juju because that's such a part of his game, getting uh, catches in the middle of the field and getting yards after contact. Now the middle of the field ain't going to be open as much because Tyreek Hill is not causing the attention of the safeties and the corners and the linebackers to shift. Now people are going to focus way more on Travis Kelsey. Not that they didn't already, but you had to put so much attention on Tyreek Hill because him as a deep threat was so electric. Now the middle of the field ain't going to be open as much for McCole Hartman or Travis Kelsey, or Juju. I thought he would have done so well with Tyreek because he's so good at getting catches in the middle field, getting yards after contact, 
Same thing with Travis Kelsey. Travis Kelsey is still going to get the ball, still going to make his plays, but it's not going to be as easy. And that's going to be a problem for the Chiefs this year because they're not going to be able to make as many big plays. Look, everyone, I'm not going to overreact here, though. The Chiefs are still going to be a good team. They get into the playoffs. I just don't know if they're a Super Bowl team anymore. But look, they're still going to be a good team because they have an offensive regimen with Andy Reid and with Eric Bieniemy that can adjust and can still make lots of possibilities for their offense. And they have Patrick Mahomes, who just makes every play on the field. But they won't have as much success because they no longer have a player that can do what Tyree Kill does. And they don't have a player like Tyree Kill that can open up their offense as much as he did. I don't think people realize how much he actually opened up the Chiefs offense here. Look, the Chiefs are going to regress because they just lost a big part of their offense who opened up a lot in the middle of the field, who also made a lot of plays downfield and was a big part in their RPO game. So look, they're going to regress because they're not going to be making as many big plays as they did. But they're still going to be a good team. But this isn't a Super Bowl team to me anymore because they don't have that star receiver anymore. Make no mistakes about it. Tyreek Hill is definitely going to see he'd much rather have Patrick Mahomes than Tua. Because Mahomes made Tyreek Hill's life on the field electric and easier. But as a whole offense, the Chiefs offense is going to regress. And look, Juju is a wide receiver one now. He may not play like it, and I don't think he will play like it, but right now he's a wide receiver one, and I don't like that. We all know he's been garbage as a number one wide receiver, and having Tyree Kill on that offense with him would have been so great to open stuff up underneath for him. He was going to help out Juju so much to make plays and be a decoy for Juju so he could get yards after contact after catching stuff in the middle of the field but now he doesn't have that anymore i'm not sure who else outside of tyree kill was going to really help juju that much that was a wide receiver now look maybe the chiefs can grab jamison williams at the end of the first round maybe something like that in the draft but you're going to have to wait for him to come off his injury maybe you're going to have to wait for him to develop a little bit but you're also going to have to ask him to really have a big role in your offense after coming off of an injury and being a rookie now look he doesn't have a guy like Tyree Kill around him anymore outside, so that's going to be a hard ask for a rookie wide receiver. But look, the Kansas City Chiefs are still going to be good, but they aren't going to be as good, and they're going to regress. The Chiefs aren't down, but their wide receiver situation just got worse, and that's going to make them a bit worse. Half of their offense's productivity in terms of production and being a decoy is gone because Tyree Kill is gone, everyone. Tell me what you think about it down in the comment section below other than that this has been malik hicks aka the ranker of the ultimate sports tv signing off peace out and i'll see you on the other side